Hey guys, how's it going? I've been curious about these pocket knife style lock picks and I think that's about what I paid for mine. It was less than 12 bucks. This one's 11.57. This one's in the States. Uh, mine came from China, so I had to wait a while for mine. But uh, let's take a closer look at it and see what you think. Well, my little um, pocket knife style pick set has arrived from China. This one's the H&H &H one, the brand of quality. Well, I've got to say the finish on this is quite impressive. It's really smooth, there's no sharp edges. There's a hole at the end there for a lanyard or a um, key ring. All right, let's, uh, let's take a look inside, see what we get. Here's the, the lever that's kept pushed in there. And it's in there quite snugly. That's what it's got that curve at the end because it tuck, tucks in there at the bottom. Um, you only get the one lever. It's rounded on the edge on the end there, which is a nice touch, nice finish. There's no sharp edges on it or anything. I think this is all stainless steel. And yep, yeah, no sharp edges or nothing on there. So let's have a look at our picks. You've got this knurled screw, just undo that a bit and that releases your six picks. You've got a you got a diamond or half diamond, whatever a half diamond there. Um not sure what that one is, but I like it. Uh, you got the city rake, the single pick, the half circle and the single or double bump worm whatever you want to call it not sure what they're called but to keep your pick in place select your pick put the rest back in there and screw down your old screw there and wiggle it make sure it's in there tight and just nip it up tight and there you go it does work loose i mean i just got it today i've used it a few times and it does work loose after a little bit and these ones may drop out but overall I think it's pretty good because I, I prefer picking with my finger on the pick there I get a better feel coming up through the pick I don't always do that but, but anyway the finish on this is not bad I mean they obviously stamped out but um, they've used a sharp die this time. <laughs> it's, it's rounded edges on this side. Uh, it's more squared off this side, but there's no sharp edges or nothing. You could pick straight away with it. They, they don't need any work on these picks, on this one that I've got anyway. So let's have a go at picking a lock. Okay, so we'll give our pick a try out in a minute and I'm thinking about using this lock it's um, let's have a look at it I just bought it recently on eBay it's made by the American lock company and I just I like the look of it a nice rounded obviously old brass construction made for the weather brass chain there and this one's made for the US military. It's got on the back there, set US and M201C. It's a five pin lock and there's a couple of deep cuts in there. And the keyway See the keyway there, it's not the easiest keyway to get into. Let's try her out. There she's held locked with a couple of ball bearings there. And the key remains in, you can't remove the key when it's open. You have to close her up to get the key out. So there you go, it's a pretty neat little lock there. So let's get cracking, let's start picking this thing. Ok 
Okay, let's uh, make sure she's locked up. Put a tension wrench in at uh, the bottom of the keyway this time. Oh, got lucky that time. <laughs> to turn it back so there you go if you if you're in the military <laughs> and you lose your key carry one of them in your pocket and you'll be fine all right let's see uh, what else we can open here it's just a little cheap padlock from Walmart, it's a kind that many people put on their sheds. Oh yeah, got that one. The pick did work loose a little there, so just gotta screw that back down. Okay, she's firm now. What else we got? We got a Brinks lock here. I was going to try a different pick, but yeah, let's try a different pick. Don't want to keep using the same one. Um, what we go for? Single pick, I think. There we go. Use a single pick. Try this one at the top of the keyway. Didn't like it that way around. Go, got that one. So there you go, it's not a bad little pick set. I don't know how tough the actual picks are going to be, how much abuse they'll take, but um, for the price, under 12 bucks, it's something you can carry around your pocket. It's kind of a handy little pack. So I'm I'm quite pleased with it. Store that lever back in there. Yeah, so there you go. I don't think it's bad at all. Thanks for watching guys. Catch you later.